hey, I was sitting here thinking, um, I remember growing up, uh, the year that my mom passed uh, was the same year that my little sister was born. Um, she was born in May and my mom passed in December um, of 2000. Uh, when Kim brought her over to the house um, for her to stay there, um, I, I, I remember an instance that she was so traumatized um, by loud noises that we developed the unspoken policy of not screaming or slamming doors because it would frighten or scare the baby. Now, some of y'all with kids know what I'm talking about. If you make a loud noise, at some point in time, your child will become traumatized by the noise. Not really relating it to an incident, but they know in their mind that this sound mean something different than normal and so we developed the policy unspokenly but everybody knew you don't scream around the baby I gotta tell you today that most people who have endured through traumatic events end up overreacting when it comes to their dramatics when it comes to dealing with trauma or fights David said I'm tired of people screaming at me. And you'd notice that his environment at home is serene and quiet. I, I, I know this because his brothers are in the army. And so while they're off at war, David isn't even in the house, he's in the field with the sheep. The Bible says he's not a shepherd, but he's a shepherd's boy. And can I tell you that sheep are quiet. And can I tell you that during the day they worked best and grazed best when it's in a quiet, calm environment. You don't want to scare a sheep. You will end up having a stampede. And so he's surrounded by people who are quiet. The environment is quiet. His job is quiet. His calling in this season is quiet. The Bible says that David lays out his resume a form of instance of what I'm going to use today. I know that somewhere in his life he dealt with something traumatic. Because every time you find something screaming or yelling, David kills it. You don't, you don't believe me? I'm not just talking about Goliath. But remember in his uh, speech to the king, he laid out his resume of where it is he's come from. He said, my resume is this. I've killed a lion and a bear. Because sheep are quiet. They don't really make too much noise. And it's not like a wolf who comes in sneakingly to attack it, but bears make loud growls and sounds and so do lions they come in there growling and showing how big and bad they are and David said I had a flashback of something traumatic that happened in my past and the only way I know how to deal with it is when I hear it screaming I don't play with it I just kill it I can confirm this for you today for anybody who's confused about what you should do when the enemy comes in screaming at you. David said you ought to have a flashback of all the hell this past season and this past year that God provided you through and begin to scream to yourself. You got to do something to end this fight. You got to proclaim something to end this war. You got to stand up on your feet and be 10 toes down and all the way right in the assignment God placed over your life that you're not here to play with the devil today. God ordained for you anything that's screaming at you reminding you of something some place that God delivered you hey God that's a threat over your life hear me now 
is that it's going to take you back to the place where God delivered you. You got to begin to testify to yourself, I'm going to kill it. I'm, I'm not here to play with the devil. I'm not here to play with them pretend friends. I'm not here to play friendly and family. I ain't none of that or this. I'm, I'm not coming to play tea party. I'm not coming to have church. This ain't no communion. You can put the offering plate down. I came to kill everything would bring me back to a place where God delivered me from. That's what David said. So I'm not around here playing with big stuff that can step on me. And you gotta be aware of people who have the training but don't have the qualifications to see in discernment that some stuff ain't to be played with. Some stuff you got to deal with. David says, I'm not here to play with giants. That's what he said. I'm not here to make friends with giants. David said, when it can take out my sheep, cause me and my family are going back to a place of poverty. Come to play with lions, bears. I ain't come to befriend the devil and the enemy. You gotta begin to question yourself about some of the company that you keep. If the attack is still prevalent and we all see it, why the only one in the group that wanna deal with it is you? Why are you the only one who see it as a threat? Why are you the only one who ain't trying to flirt with it? But you're trying to kill it. To completely stop it. To change the story about it. I'm talking to somebody today that you sick of being victim you sick of being under you sick of being the last and the least you tired of being on the asking end I'm talking to somebody who's sick and tired of lions bears and giants being friendly with my family social with my friend circle. Being comfortable in a place that at any moment it can be taken away because it scares the hell out of me. David makes up in his mind at that moment. This is when I think of the goodness of the Lord. And all that has brought me through, my soul begins to rejoice and say, thank God for everything that I didn't ask for, but he still did for me. And so on today, David said, I'm going to tell any giant, I'm going to tell any tiger, lion, bear, giraffe, dog, cat, family, friend, I'm going to tell any employer or developer, I'm going to tell any president or any police officer, I'm going to tell any mayor or any counselor, I'm going to tell anybody and anything, I ain't come to play. You ain't going to be screaming at me, telling me what I can't, what I ain't, how I'm not. You ain't going to keep on reminding me of what you hold over me, what you did for me. You, you ain't gonna keep on screaming at me. That's what David said, I'm sick of y'all. And the next thing that screams about my defeat and a 
place where God delivered me from it, but they don't want to identify with it. David said, Jeremiah, tell them people, stop playing with these animals. Stop playing with giants, being friendly with people who can step on you and kill you and take the destined future God has for you away from you so quickly. Stop befriending the devil and the enemy. You're too friendly with the enemy. David said, I'm sick of anything reminding me of how my God delivered me. You got one more time to scream at me. I'm killing anything that reminds me of the traumatic past God delivered me from. Sick of people screaming at me. Said I'm so so I cut the head off. I cut it from the head of it. So I don't have to hear this no more. That's what he said. I, I, I released the rock to shut him up. But that was only temporary. And you, you got to stop dealing with permanent issues, uh, with temporary solutions. This is not all done. Don't just erase the text message. Block them. <laughs> I don't need you to pretend like 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 you ain't uh, still affected by them and still go see them every Saturday. Don't don't act like you over it. that you still struggle with it so go ahead and kill it delete the number and block it Ch change yours and don't give it go go ahead and change your password and and then <laughs> don't remember it i said type out something crazy copy and paste it put it in there twice so that you don't even know what it is that way you can't log in to the site no more Cancel the subscriptions. That's what he said. He said put in the word. So I've equipped you with everything that you need to defeat anything that stands in front of you, reminding you of a past where I delivered you. minute being like it didn't happen but you put no effort forth to throw it this is not how clear the giant's path so you can walk through but the rock and the equipment and the weapons I gave you I can't do nothing with them until you put forth the effort and throw it they I remind you to do that. Don't be traumatized by everything that he brought you out of that the enemy wants to remind you that could happen again to you. Kill it. Cut off the head of it. Stop flirting with it. Go, go on and get over it. I says be done with it. And then put forth the effort. God gave you everything that you need to be successful, to survive, to thrive, to excel, to move to the next level, to build it, to grow it, to fund it, to maintain it. God gave you everything in you. But you got to put forth the effort. Say, God, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my part. Now I put the rest in your hands and watch and see. 
every giant that stands in front of you said I'm gonna clear the way of anything that would traumatize you I'm freeing you from where you came from delivering you into what you don't even know I'm about to do for 